is going on, guys? Wise here coming in with a recap on one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, man, it has been a long time since I said that, and that, uh, that felt pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, first uh, time I've decided to make myself a video in, oh, I don't know, eight months to, no, probably more like at least 10 months, I want to say, close to a year. Um, you know what? I took a break from the game. It was actually sort of the perfect storm in my life to take a break from the game. Um, combination of things, just the state of the game, the state of my life, and it just made sense. So took a bit of a break and decided to maybe sort of check it out. You know, it's kind of twelve things going on. Talking to some of my old friends, that, uh, just obviously that I still keep in contact with through the game. And you know what? I've been playing it for the past few weeks to a month and really enjoying it. It's so weird. This is the first video I have done in so long and my camera was always right in front of me. But I decided to change it for some reason. I got a whole new setup or a lot of a new setup and now my camera's up here. So uh, this is going to be kind of interesting. I keep looking down there. Anyways, whatever. It's also, what, 2.30 in the morning, and I worked late tonight, and CWL started, um, so I've been playing for a few weeks, uh, just hanging out, FCing with the guys, <clears throat> and you know what? I've been having a lot of fun, and I see some major changes that I really liked, some things that I'm not going to lie, I was preaching for so long ago. You know what, the builder's base, I don't want to go on a rant of everything I used to hate because I just want to talk about sort of the new things that I see, the new things that I really like about the game. Um, CWL obviously uh, kicked off week one, we got our win, 74-73, but look at I mean, you look at the total destruction, 99.56 versus our 98.16, uh, it was... It was interesting. It was a, it was a crazy war. I, there was a point I was watching quite a bit for the last last sort of day of it, and I I didn't I didn't have a lot of faith that we were gonna win. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was looking grim for us, uh, and I'll show you why in a minute. But our top guys really just sort of pulled through, and we nailed sort of the perfect ending. We got our twelve v twelve triple, and ended up coming with a win. So I was pretty happy about that. Uh, I do want to say this is this is so crazy watching some of these attacks and how I just just wanted this so long ago. I'm just so happy to see it now. I'm just I it must be the seeds. It's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I'll sort of maybe talk about some things as I, as I notice, but obviously the siege machines make a huge difference in just the way the balance of the game works. It was really overall happy like when you look at obviously these these caliber of wars and you just sort of see everything cleared and it's really coming down to uh, the triples up top is is overly what matters and that's that's just how it has to be it's how it should be um, <clears throat> and some of our guys is, so let's actually just jump in here first and take a look so the 24 23 were the the three star count obviously and that was the difference but when you look at this average destruction, 99.6, they had, if you look here, we obviously got our um, 12e11 uh, bully and our 12e12 with the last half hour of the war to win the war. But the story was sort of the, uh, crummy. The story was here, uh, Damien and Predator's defenses. Um, when you look over here, Four defenses for Damien and three defenses for Predator that really held off that extra star. Uh, they had at the end of the war. Um, I'll go back. Oops, sorry, I lost the one. <clears throat> they had so their number one attacked both of our twelves, and then the number two attacked both of our twelves. They had um, where is the other one? They had uh, all four of their twelve v twelve attempts, and we only had I believe. So, the, it, honestly, Predator saved the day for us while I was going to check out that attack. But let's just jump into a few attacks. You're going to have to bear with me because it's crazy. This game is, like, new to me again. I love it. And 
seeing the way I had always sort of wished Town Hall, uh, you know, when Town Hall 12 didn't even exist, um, this is what I want to see. This is more of the style that I want to see. The game just got so stale. It was tens hitting up versus 11s and just a game of bullies. And it happens, and you're going to see why. Because, uh, to be honest, shout out to CWC Brawlers. They had such a perfect war leading up until those last moments and they had more to they had a much better percentage rate and like i said a much better uh destruction rate so uh we were just sort of lucky that uh we got the got the attacks that we did and we're gonna check out a couple of them right now number 19 was my first one we also had two two of our tens got six packs which was obviously clutch because we really needed those we were with those we were still behind in in 10v10 trips so uh you see the bowler going out it's gonna get a little fast forward you see this queen suicide in here i thought this was interesting obviously she just, just wants to get the air defense and the king and the cannon uh so goes ahead and sends the siege in gets his funnel going down over here and this camera i don't know if i'm gonna like this camera angle but bear with me obviously is what it is. Siege machine going in. King's going in. He's got bowlers on either sides. The idea here is he's just going to create this V shape going from 3 o'clock up to 12 and back over. King gets in there, takes out the corner. As you can see, there's literally just defenses in a row. Just all the way up in a V shape. Gets those heels down, three of them. He's got this no problem whatsoever. This is, uh, I don't know if this was his first attack, but. Uh, one of Vegito's triples. Very nice, my friend. Oh, I, I didn't tell you. I got this fucking mechanical finger. And it's because my finger was bent. The tip of my finger, I, cr I crushed it when I was digging out my garden. And crushed it into the spade. <clears throat> and it's permanently bent. It's been like that for two weeks. So I got to get the splint. And I have to be at the hospital in like maybe four or five hours. So... Definitely need some recap juice because I worked all night and I decided I really want to do this. I was talking to King and the clan. He threw out there. I wasn't even thinking about it. I'm at work tonight and King throws out there. Why is a recap? LOL. And I sat there and I kind of got excited about it. I actually was really, really looking forward to, uh, to showing a few attacks and I'm just learning so much right now. It's awesome uh, seeing these guys do what they do. So what was the next one I had? It's fair. 16 here. So Raven, <clears throat> another guy with a six pack. Unbelievable suicide Lalo hit here. Man, this finger is so awkward. Can you imagine working in a restaurant and having to have this mechanical fucking finger? It's just driving me insane. Anyhow, uh, this is my uh, preferred attack right now. Um, it's what I got loaded up for my friendly challenges. Uh, I think I'm having really good success rate with it. And basically what Raven's doing is taking on all these outer defenses. Go ahead, sending in these balloons a little preemptively, trying to get that giant to tank. But the idea here was to save the queen. So he gets those loons in, he gets the giant in, and look, the queen survives. Kind of awesome. And basically same thing as that hog attack. You now see it's a little bit wider. But a bit of a V shape over the top of the uh, base. Easy Lalo path and gets that heal down over the Wiz Tower. Looking good at this point. Just get that haste. Down goes the Inferno. Down goes that last air defense. And he is looking pretty at this point. All these minions doing cleanup on the other side. <clears throat> nice hit, Raven. Bam. Alright, so with this next one, Raven again. You know, I'm getting 15 and 16 on this. I have a base build like this. I'm not 100% confident. That's actually my biggest learning curve at this point is learning the base building. I mean, the attacking I find, I'm getting a lot of success <coughs> with mainly Lalo, but I was using, uh, obviously, witches are really strong, witches and bowlers and bitch attacks, so a little bit of a walk. I've been trying all the different attacks. Uh, just sort of FCing a couple days at a time with them all. Uh, and to be honest, the Suicide Lalo is my favorite, but this was one of the only minor hits I saw. I haven't seen minors used. So when I saw, I loaded this attack, I was like, damn, like Raven looking good. 
does this crazy walk here too. He's, you're gonna see the value he gets out of this queen walk. He drops the rage here in a sec. Bam, down go the wall breakers. Opens this up, gets the sweeper, gets the whiz tower, takes out the clan castle. Now you really need to do that, obviously, because of the dragon in the clan castle. You don't want the dragon following your miners around. But he's still gonna have, so he's gonna have 22 miners, still has his king, three heals, and this queen's now basically taking out this entire 12 <coughs> to sort of two section. Big thing here is the whiz tower near the inferno towers, well, the sort of, and the king, while the miners get held up in this compartment. So that goes down. He does end up losing the queen, I think, to the Inferno Tower. Yeah, he's already hit his ability, so down she goes, but in come the miners. And the other, oh, that's what I like too, the healers. Even though he lost the queen, the healers lock on the miners now and just help out. He ends up using, sorry, I just kind of had that blocked off, but <clears throat> uses the king here at six o'clock to basically hollow up this point. So he just sends the miners just straight across the base. He needs the two heals for the Wiz Towers and Inferno Towers. So it's gonna save them until then. I think he drops the first one when this bomb tower goes off. Yeah, there it goes. But the clutch thing here was the healers locking onto this group of miners. Just beautiful. Bomb goes down, doesn't matter. Heals one more heal spell, plus still I think he has three healers there, maybe even four. Um his base is GG. Nice hit, Raven. Love when my cat decided to sit here for this video too. She sits there frequently, but not all the time, so classic, classic. All right, nice hit, buddy. And we got Demon here. I think this is the one I was showing. 14, yeah. So another Sui Lalo. Um, this one, I started to learn things about the base building. And there's some things that, at least because I'm using a lot of Lalo right now, Suicide Lalo, or some actually Siege sort of Lalo as well. And um, I'm noticing more and more, you kind of want, don't want your air defense clumped up like this because I'm finding if I can get an air defense like on the path to the town hall, obviously, because you're, you're using your blimp, Use the blimp to go in on a compartment like that. Like two air defenses are down. The clan castle's pulled out. He's gonna drop the suicide hero. Three. Oh, he's already dropped them down on the town hall. Six o'clock. Oh, that's right. Sorry. So he's basically taking. Look at this whole twelve o'clock section is taken out. He's sending the suicides in. He's gonna take out this dragon and basically this whole bottom part. And then you see what that leaves. I wish I could draw lines on this. It just leaves like a clear cut section, sort of right across the middle of the base there. And he's just gonna send his Lalo in straight across. See how this works out. Dragon goes down. Queen's doing, gonna have to do some work. Hits that ability. I think he takes out both wizard towers here. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. From this arch tower to this arch tower and bomb tower, it, it just goes straight across. So one hound in, loons. One hound in, loons. Get those hastes in. The loons get in there right away. Things to drop a rage down, sort of right in the middle there. Yep. Down go the wizard towers. Still has that queen there, but he drops the skelly on her. They're working on her under the rage. Down goes the queen. Things are looking pretty good. Just gotta basically use the heal and the ha uh, haste over the uh, nine o'clock section of the base there. Last hound goes in. Probably could have dropped that hound earlier. I would say that's the only critique of that, but really, what does it matter? Heal goes down. Wizard Tower goes down, his base is GG, he still has cleanup troops all over the place, and an archer sitting in his inventory. Looking good, demon, fast forward that. Bam. Very nice. It's a tree in the bag. Oh man, I don't know where the fucking hospital tore on. This is ridiculous. What do we got next? I got 13. Demon again. Oh, three guys. Was it three guys? Raven? Hmm. At least Demon and Raven got six packs, but we'll see if I'm wrong. Anyway, so uh, I thought this was weird. Send blue stacks. Again, I don't know anything about these potions or anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyone tell me how, how noob I am because I don't know why the numbers are all max troops when demons clearly not a uh, town hall 12 or 11 whatever uh, anyways 
Same thing, another suicide hero, but you'll see what I mean. These two sort of air defense, um, even though Queen goes down here, yeah, I don't think he gets that air defense. Um, he saves his blimp this time, so this is sort of the different style. I haven't been really trying this as much, but it's basically, it doesn't really matter. He just did his heroes first and ends up getting this whole section taken care of, our front tower down. And sort of has this kind of just chunk of base he needs to deal with down here, right? He's basically, he's, other than this air defense, um, you know, he just needs to now just haste in, go up the core, nice little freeze there as well. There goes the rage. As long as those wizard towers go down, very quickly he's looking good. He's got a heal for basically this nine o'clock compartment. One more haste. The last set of loons going in. Heal goes down over the whiz tower and throne towers. And sitting pretty. I mean, the expo air defense, this sort of top part was the only worry, but he has just way too many balloons and still one more haste to go. Doesn't even really need the haste thing. Drops it there. Yeah, there it goes. Move those balloons onto the air defense. Got a million of them. Still a balloon here for cleanup plus an archer. Has minions, pops all over the base. G, G, demon. Hmm. Funny, almost a year later, I still got my that that jersey, the 2.0 jersey behind me, has never came down. And actually, I got a sweet picture here too of uh, when we went to Chicago, Chicago Live. That was really fun. In fact, Jamie plays. Pretty sure maybe only two people in the photo that I have there still play. Maybe. What do we got next? Mixa. I think Mixa brings the hogs. No, another suicide Lalo. Oh, but this one's different too. They're all slightly different. I, uh, this was interesting. The double lightning. Now it goes with the quake. He gets the sweeper and almost both air defense. Um, that would have been really sweet. That's obviously what he's trying to go for. So it was unfortunate he didn't get it, but still works out for him here. You're going to see. Queen and King going in. I don't know why I've been sort of using my blimp first to try and more use that to protect the King and Queen to try and get a little more value out of them. Um, but again, I'm sort of still learning at this point. So uh, I think sort of the base calls for it. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. Drops the Hound, the Loons quick, Hound, then the blimp and then a few more Loons. But it kind of works out nicely because right over the two air defense, bursts those uh, bursts those max loons, and down they go. All these other loons on the outer rim are going to come in behind, hit these hastes, push right into this core. The sort of there's another worry here with these whiz towers, but he drops that other hound in, going to bring it straight across, and he's got loons on almost every defense. This queen down here is doing work, but uh, the pups start working on her, Skelly spell working on her. Just now, take her down. See you later. And look at all these balloons with a single target in front of two arch towers. See you later. No cleanup troops left to drop down, but it doesn't really matter. He's got minions all over the base. Which were the cleanup troops, but he just dropped them quite a bit early, like you should. Beautiful. Nice job, Mexa. And who do we got next? There's one more 10 v 10 tanning. You gotta remember tanning when he was in swarm. Oh, the good old days. Very interesting, everything that's gone on um, in the past year, just to see. I sort of kept up on Twitter, but it's what it is. So another suicide in a lot. You're gonna see how we we were pretty successful uh, with them. Um, really was our best success. I swear it had a 10 v 10 hog attack. Maybe I was wrong. Anyway, same, same idea, but this is what I'm saying. I was, I've been sending the blimp in first and I sort of try and use it to protect my, uh, protect my heroes or just sort of set the funnel for my heroes. Um, you kind of get the blimp in on one side, send the heroes in on the other side and you clear out a, a good solid path for your balloons right in your, uh, in your Lalo. So, uh, you're going to see that going down. Wizard Tower is going to go down. Gets a couple Archer Towers out of the deal. 
Got a baby dragon helping out. Probably didn't want the minion there. The baby D would be doing uh, would be doing far more work, but no big deal. Starts to rage up. I don't think he wanted the queen to work there because she ends up getting taken out by the king. I think she might have been able to reach that expo. If not, she de he definitely wanted her to walk in with that king. So he sort of, uh, I believe, adjusts the Lalo path. I'm not sure uh, exactly. I didn't see this plan. Uh, but gets the rage down. He brings a double skelly as well as another thing I noticed. Double skelly under the rage. Down goes that queen. No big deal. Uh, right into the core. He's going to get one more haste down. Needs to get this last air defense down. That uh, sweeper's doing work, but it doesn't matter. It's too many balloons. Down goes the last air defense. Down goes the last haste. And he's going to drop a heal spell over this wizard tower right here because that is really the only thing that's going to stop him now at this point with the amount of balloons that he has. Drop it. There it goes. Beautiful. Down goes the wizard tower. Expo's about to go. His pace is GG. Tanu coming in. The big triple. Funny. It was my birthday at the beginning of July. I had a pretty big party. People bought me so much booze. It's ridiculous. I have this 66er of JP Weisers, actually. And I'm drinking a Triple Crown JP Weisers. I drank so much booze. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Over over the summer, I should say. I should add. Not today. Um, so what do I got next? I know I got an 11 v 11. When I have seven, six. Oh yeah, Warble. My chocolate man. Uh, so obviously this low tier Town Hall 11, we knew when we saw this base right away, we needed to ensure that we got an 11 v 11. That was the other thing. I, I gotta give a shout out to CWC Brawlers 11s. Um, they were bang on, I gotta say. They they nailed some of their attacks. There was one attack I watched on 11 v 11 live. I don't know if it was fresh, I think it was. Uh, his last bowler on the map was against a Tesla, and the bowler threw the bowler. The Tesla zapped it dead, but the bowler killed the Tesla, and he got the three star. It's just one of those ridiculous <laughs> luck moments, but <laughs> whatever. Um, I, like I said, I give a show, a huge shout out to the uh, the Elevens over at CWC Brawlers. They did a really good job, uh, and yeah, it is crazy finish. I, I'm, I'm, to be honest, uh, you know, it was, it was not the, not the, um, sexiest win, but we, uh, we pulled it out. So, um, this was, maybe this was the hog attack. That was totally it. So you can see he's cleared out this big section now, really just brings in the hogs. Got two more heals and not a lot of area damage. So it really just comes with bombs and comes down to these two wizard towers. Does lose the queen to that, or Inferno Towers, and he does lose the queen to his Inferno Towers, so it's all up to the hogs. And you're gonna see this heel goes down, sort of, I think, right in between here. It's a bomb, yeah, there it is. And the hogs sort of barely make it. These skellies are chasing him, but he's got these minions doing cleanup. At this point, I think he was like, man, is this gonna make it? So, Takes down the wizard tower, or uh, another, it takes down the inferno tower, turns around, loses, like, I think one more hog to the skelly, yep. And he's only got three or four hogs left, but he's got 44 seconds, he's got two wizards doing work, but this is a lot of base for 38 seconds. I have a feeling he was sort of sweating it at this point. But as you're gonna see, the four hogs, Managed to help, managed to uh, pull through, take down a ton all the time. Wizard jumps in, helps out. That's a tree in the back. Uh, horrible. Nice job, buddy. Uh, and then that's it, to be honest. We had to use a lot of our 11 attacks to clean up the tens. So we didn't have a lot of 11 v 11. So we had to use a couple of our 12s to clean up the 11s. Three of our 12s actually for dips, and then we had one shot at 12v12. Uh, and Predator comes in with this just awesome attack. Really impressed by it. Uh, I think he starts at 12. Yeah, he walks from 12, I believe. Pull the bowler down, get the funnel going. Down goes the 
queen, take out the uh, Tesla tower there. And this queen does some serious work. You're gonna see it. He ends up dropping the warden with her to help her out. Um, but she like moves in, she ends up taking out the town line. You're gonna see what I mean. This attack was just pretty unreal by Predator. Really nice job. This won this this won the war for us, this attack right here. So, drops the heroes, sort of forces the queen in to make sure the queen takes all this. Nice little freeze, drops the siege tank with the bowlers, help the queen out. It gives this queen so much help, and it's so worth it. Because she just walks right in now, ends up taking out the tunnel, take, takes out that, that, that last Tesla tower there. And he has this little L shape to go for his Lalo's. Perfect pathing, haste down all over it, all those loons right into that last Inferno Tower. Um, and his queen does go down, but it's not a big deal at this point. He has almost all his balloons left alive. Is there a hound in there? I don't think there's a hound still in there. But really, just gotta take out that Tesla Tower. Down it goes. As soon as these skellies spawn past these minions and stuff, there's just stuff everywhere. The Warden survives, Healer survive. Predator winning the war. Nice fucking job, man. Beautiful. All right, so I I just I'm impressed. I'm impressed by the game. I'm impressed by the state of two point I'm really uh, happy and was so glad to hear. I just being in leadership for so long takes its toll on you. Never mind the social media aspect, and just it does. It it was, it was a lot over two and a half years, and my life sort of crashed. Nothing that I did, like I I. Again, I don't get into details, but the, it was the perfect storm for me to re retire when I did. Uh, and leadership was a big part of that. Um, but nice coming back, or first of all, nice uh, knowing for how long uh, 2.0 and 1.0 split in that whole story. Uh, but nice to see them come back together and me sort of still be interested enough in the game to sort of see all that develop. Um, and it's showing, you know, like, uh, this coming away with this win. There was a point where you look at the war that when we were just were so behind on 10 v 10 trips, we had to use a lot more bullies and we just stuck it out and came out with the win. I love it. Uh, love the state of the game right now. I think it's it's really good. Um, obviously, that might change. I sort of get a little more well versed and everything, but from seeing these results and seeing. Uh, just how the game works now. It's unbelievable. So CWC Brawlers, I gotta say, good work. Uh, good to be back uh, for at least this video. Um, life still is at a point where I most certainly won't necessarily be, be continuously doing videos. However, I just thought I would come check in with everybody because you know I'm back a little bit. Uh, I'm really enjoying things. I'm hoping to sort of get back in. They did put me on the CWL roster, so maybe you'll see a little wiser in there, some 10v10 triples at some point. Um, but uh, 2.0, love you. I'm so glad uh, the bad things are going well so far. And 1 0 for the season. Until uh, next time, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. I'm out.